Hi YouTube. Um, um, I just wanted to talk a bit about um, moodiness, about being a moody person or considering yourself to be a moody person. Um, yeah, I just kind of have a theory and why that might be so common with the INFP, INFP personality type. Um, or, you know, as uh, the stereotypes go, FI doms in general, I have an ISFP friend and, and he also considers himself to be um, emotionally unstable. Um, I don't, I mean, I don't necessarily consider myself emotionally unstable because I'm, I'm a functional person, uh, mostly, but, uh, or I, I am, I am, um, but I do, uh, yeah, I mean, I do have my highs and lows, and I'm, I'm sure most people do, but, um, I think the reason, this is just a little theory of mine, I guess, I think the reason why FI doms are kind of stereotyped as being that way is just because they pay so much attention to their, uh, inner emotional landscape, and that's really probably the only difference. I mean, yeah, I mean, uh, there it's it's our awareness, I think, of of our emotional landscape. Whereas other people may be having the exact same, other types having the exact same highs and lows, but they don't pay attention to it. You know, it might be on the sidelines. Um, you know, if they're not leading with FI, uh, they're you know leading with something else, and um, Although uh, FI isn't necessarily emotions, you know, um, that's kind of, I mean, that's not what the, the original Jungian theory uh, states. Um, it's, it's actually just subjective uh, values. I do think it relates to emotions and that uh, sometimes it's hard to know. Or, I mean, a good indicator of what your values are, are is your emotional reaction, right? So if you see something that you think is... Um, you know, morally wrong, you're going to have a, a negative uh, emotional reaction. And so I think that's kind of the the way um, the emotions come into uh, into play with FI, although FI isn't necessarily being emotional or something. So I just think there's that branch there that connects the two. Um, but yeah, um, yeah, my, uh, I just, yeah, my ISFP friend and I both spend a lot of time uh, thinking about how we feel about things, um, you know, noting our moods, <laughs> you know, um, every day, you know, we seem to be able to, like, if we say, hey, how's it going? We seem to be able to, you know, ex like what our, the way we respond to that to each other is we describe our moods, like how you're feeling, like, you know, I feel kind of foggy headed today or, um, I don't know, I feel kind of low or, you know, I feel really great. Um Whereas maybe most people just kind of give a general answer and they're not really actually tapped into how they're actually feeling because it maybe seems irrelevant. You know, they've got maybe they're, you know, extroverts and they're looking on the outside and that's more, you know, more important. Um, yeah. Uh, so I guess just to restate my what I was saying originally in this video here. Um, is maybe we're not necessarily more moody or unstable emotionally, um, but we are more, um, you know, we're introspective about our emotional, um, um, you know, just that emotional aspect to our personality. It's very important to us because it's where we derive our values, um, as well as it also just, uh, you know, it also leads to our creative nature, which is, you know, it's driven by emotions, by human emotions generally. Um, I mean, of course, creativity can come from all kinds of places, but um, ISFPs and INFPs, you know, uh, how they view things, their view, their take on things is generally the main, the main uh, part of the art, I think. Or maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm generalizing. Um, okay, that's enough for this video. Thanks for watching.